Okay, we are getting close to the 400 I need to get the Explorer. Fortunately, Portugal starts with an Explorer, so they've probably been exploring a while. Don't think it was that guy. He's been exploring for a while, and... I don't know why he's uncovered, but he also doesn't have other... He also doesn't exactly have other um, ships, I don't think. Or if he does, they're just hanging around trying to protect the trade. But of course, he doesn't have the colonists as of yet. And hopefully he won't have the colonists for much longer. It'd be great if I could just take him out before the colonist comes. Actually, good point. What are you... 100 and 184! Yeah, Portugal's rich, so you can't very easily annex him at one shot. So you need to pick him off bit by bit. So Toledo got us, and... I forgot to do one. Oh, that was just another advisor. The advisors might start dying off very soon, but I'll keep them for now. Am I max man parrot? Not yet. It'll take a little while. France still likes, which is good. Aragon still likes. And I need to see if we're going to have... Oh, yeah, 39 and 36. Ooh, okay. That's close for Aragon. Even I get two stab bits in quick succession from that. And yeah, I won't be able to convert this for a fair while because, yeah, minus 2.4, not accepted culture. I'll need to get religious at some point. Probably the third, I think. I think usually AI Castile in Portugal, or Port well, Portugal's changed. Usually AI Castile is exploration religious offensive. I think I'm going to be switching around religious and offensive. AI Portugal used to be the same, but I think apparently they now take expansion second. I believe they now take expansion. Expansion... no. Yeah, I think they now take Exploration Expansion Offensive Religious. I'm not entirely too sure, but I think that's how it, it is. Yeah, they, uh... They've really changed Portugal around to get the colonists out there and start colonizing. Again, another reason why I want to cut them off as quickly as I can. Next month for stuff, yay! Next month... no, not you. Next month, quest for the new world, thank you. Give, 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 give. And then we're going to save up 50 for an explorer, so then I can start sending out this fleet to explore the seas and find things. Where is England going? Defe what? Oh, allied to Austria. So, Crimea trying to take over Genoa, which means called in the HRE Emperor, which means the HRE Emperor has called in everyone else to go after. What did Brunswick do? Holy sh! What did Brunswick? Was that one? No, oh, Brunswick does a lot of things. Altmark, Leipzig, Hanover. Wow, Brunswick is. Yeah. Brunswick, you. You overextended a bit there. <laughs> oh, wow. Poor Brunswick. The first HRE. The first HRE coalition dogpile of the game. It's a shame it never happens to Austria. Or at least, I know it does happen. I've seen, uh, I've seen it in the uh, <coughs> in the various paradox and U4 subreddits where Austria has gotten a coalition. I've seen screenshots of it, but I never actually had it happen to me. All right, Poland, and then because Austria allies Poland, it basically means once they get enough diplo rep that there's going to be a constant Habsburg on the Polish throne because Austria's massive diplo rep means they just they get their they get the opinion up so high. They get the opinion of their uh, elected monarch up so high. You can actually... Um, I don't think they have the Diplo Rep already. Only one in there. But you see, uh, 14%? Yeah. Eventually that goes up to about 40%. Once they get the Diplo Rep from Influence, Diplomatic and their NIs. So you... Unless you are a massive... Unless you have a massive diplomatic set like that, you're not going to get someone on the throne of, of Poland. It, it's it's basically going to be a Habsburg. Almost constantly. How many more months? I need at least seven months. Seven months to get an explorer, and then we're going to go exploring with things and people. Okay, you're sending them on an exploration mission, which I think... I think sending on the mission gives you specific events... I don't know, I haven't gone into it. I know that exploration is changed and is different. I haven't experienced it yet. This is actually this is the first time getting into 1.10 and the Eldorado specifics. I don't know if... Yeah, apparently, 
This is the hotfix version, this is the very first hotfix patch which re-enabled manual exploration, which kind of needs to happen for most countries because they haven't actually implemented enough missions for it to be worthwhile. Especially if you're in like rest of the world and you take exploration and there's no missions, it's like, oh, well then I can't explore sort of thing. It's kind of a bit Eurocentric, a bit Euro babyish. yes. There's the whole European dog pile. Is that kebab? The kebab ally Crimea. Oh yeah, kebab ally Crimea, so they're attacking. What? <laughs> that, that, that's a loss. That's a bit of a loss. Hungary, Poland, Poland... Poland has the PU? Poland has the PU. Yeah. Oh, Kebab took Wallachia. Ooh, didn't see that. And yeah, there's gonna be a massive dog pile on Kebab. Oh, poor Kebab. This is why I don't consider allying Crimea ever, because they're just bad. It's just never worth it. Because Crimea does crazy stupid shit like that and expects you to come in and give them their... You know, expects you to come in and babby them and rescue them when they have to face off against the Emperor. Nah, just not worth it. Oh, Archduchy. Yep, Austria's gone Archduchy. Oh, is Milan... No, Milan is not the uh, Ambrosian Republic yet. A shame. But we have the 50 dip. Let us get an explorer. Unfortunately, they are ever so slightly statistically weaker than ex admirals, but they can explore TI. Wow, you are... Yeah. Statistically weaker. One shock. Brilliant. Okay. Let us... I'm gonna, I'm gonna send an exploration mission. Explore the coast of Madeira. That's the one. So you can go do that. Go explore the coast of Madeira. And I'm just going to wait and see kind of what happens. I don't know if it does it manually, if you just go around for a while, does it take a while? Well, that was discovered. Quick. Um, is that it? That's the mission done. Okay. I don't know if that got me... Did that actually get me much prestige? I don't know. That was my dear. Alright, let's explore the Bay of Argwin then. Fucking... Wow, these missions are... Okay, this exploration mission, I think, goes a lot quicker than it usually does, than it is supposed to, I think. It's peculiar. Definitely peculiar. Huh. This has gotten a tad easier than I think. Okay, I don't need the, um... I really don't need the sound every time it happens. Usually that sound is only supposed to come up when you discover a province by, um, not by manually exploring, but by, by um, automatic discovery, that's the thing. So that's the Bay of Aragorn, so, okay, we've discovered stuff. Still on a mission right now, okay. So we're going to come back to the Canaries, which is probably the closest province from the mission, okay. Still getting used to this these new mechanics, it's a bit odd. So... Explored the coast of Cape Verde. Okay. Is that basically what guarantee that I reveal Cape Verde? A little bit of excellent vintage, which is this little un a little reduced unrest in a specific province, I think, for a while. Is this a guarantee, or is as soon as I go in there, is it going to take a while based on skill? Whoa! -ho 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 -ho! Okay, massive things, and it does give you the events. Okay. During our mission to find viable provinces to colonize, we stumbled upon Arguin, which is up here. The nations are mostly hostile, but the land is very prosperous. We would gain much from trading this, with this province, so we might need to bribe a chief or two. Um. Um. I think this is the wrong way round. Because I'm gaining money instead of losing money. <laughs> Make a dishonest deal. Gain ducats, lose some aggressiveness, or gain even more money and lose even more aggressiveness. Uh, let's make them a fair deal. We gained money for that. Yes. Okay, that's broken. That's just a tad broken. Uh, so, Cape okay, Verde, you... Oh, you have the colonist. Shoot. Okay, I am going to steal Cape okay, Verde as quick as I can. And I'm going to have to prep an army for um, colony stationing, basically. In fact, what I'm going to do 
if I have to cancel, does I have to cancel the macro build, or the, uh, the macro builder? Yeah, we're going to take two of you. We're going to take two off of you. Nope, that was clicking too quickly. We're going to take two off of you. We're going to pick you up, move you into Almeria. And then you'll be Colony 1. Or you'll be Colonial 1. And we're just going to sit you on Argon. You can sit there for ages. Because I don't think, yeah, Portugal doesn't know if this does it yet. Oh! Speaking of Portugal, <laughs> not quite yet though, I'll give them a little while. They're allied in Aragon and I'd rather not because I kind of want to try and get the PU with Aragon. So we'll wait up on this. Are you coming back? Come back, pick up some troops, bring them to Aragon, send them in so that we can actually colonize it. Yes, I'm going to run two colonies on one colonist, but I kind of have the money for it, so you know, there's no reason not to for now. Especially if I'm going to be making money from the from the colonies, from the nasos, rather than losing it. Oh, that is retarded. That is just... That's got a basic UA that should have been sourced. Why did it... I don't know. Uh, I'm going to keep those relations up. You guys come here, grab the two of you, get on the boat, go across to Almeria. Combine, get on the boat again. And head out towards Argon. So you can sit on the colony. So that's Cape Verde, which has... Usually Portugal gets this, but I have it this time. It also has... Oh, it comes out as a trading company. There is no naces here, so I don't need to worry about keeping the colonists there to make it grow quickly. I'm going to get Argon out of the way to cock block Portugal. Prevent Portugal from getting us. So I'm going to try and get the troops on there, because I need to keep troops there. I have... Ooh, Miltech 5, thank you. I should actually get the new unit. Well, do I want to get the new unit type now? I have base morale. I should probably take, like, Gallagher Infantry, because they are... S they do will do a lot more morale damage. Although, this might hurt, because... When are they going to get their 20th? You know what? You wait for a bit. <laughs> wait until the top of the month, so that by the time you do land there, it won't be, you'll have recovered some morale, so that when the nasus, if the nasus attack, which they probably will, you don't take, you're not, you know, instantly wiped, because low morale. Well, you're attacked anyway. Oh god, that's not working. Yeah, see what I mean about, yeah, that was a bad time to change unit type. I have I have a tendency to do that. It's not. It's silly. I really shouldn't. Ugh, that was silly. Okay, go land them on the Canaries. We'll need to bring back some troops. Um, or just try landing right now. Oh, 21st. I don't know if they've gotten much back by now. No. Sit and uh, hit to... Ugh, can't convert it so small to actually land there. Get some morale back. Get another month of morale before heading over. And then we'll have argument and we can tell Portugal to stuff it. Ah, oh, The Valois died. Is he going to... No, he hasn't improved any relations with me. Uh, 35, I am 53, so I should ideally wait for France to propose to me rather than the other way around. Because it'll last longer. That's the thing. Whoever proposes the royal marriage when they die, that is when the royal marriage ends and you have to renegotiate it, if you will. I don't even want to say negotiate, it's not negotiation. Um, they explore Southern Guiana Basin. Oh, it's over here. Okay, well you go over there and do that. Alright, fine, I guess I'll send to France. It's gonna go away quick enough when these guys die off. And yeah, those blooming things. Ooh, Inquisitor! I know I really like getting rid of the, um, I know I want to, it's nice to get rid of inflation, but, oh, it's minus 2.4, never mind then. At least I had it equip the Inquisitor is available. Oh, yeah. This is the other thing about the exploration missions. When you take an exploration mission, you don't take the, you don't take the attrition from being out at sea, I believe. Whereas if you do it manually, you still do. Or if you're, you know, still going through that province as per normal. You still take the attrition, you know, as normal. But, yeah, the missions, you don't actually take the, uh... You don't take the attrition penalty for being in open sea. 
Matter of fact, she's only the attrition period, it seems. Which is peculiar. No, that's the one on court. Wait, what? No, seriously, what? I thought I was supposed to have all three of them. What was? <laughs> I thought I was supposed to have all three of them. I thought it said all three of them. That's why it gave me cores on us. But no, I just got... Okay. That's weird. Take Alan Tejo, convert all around to Catholic. Which won't happen because not enough. Okay. That's... Peculiar. That, that, that is really peculiar. Now, the real question. Aragon is... Oh, Jesus Christ, why? Did Aragon follow... Oh, Aragon followed Burgundy. Oh, uh, Burgundy went after Liège and is now attacking a lot of people. Wait, no? Wait, what? Wait, hang on. Oh, no, I was highlighting the wrong guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, poor Burgundy. Burgundy's probably going to die. Oh, wait, what? Burgundy's probably going to die, except... Well, there's a lot more troops in there, but they don't have the morale, but... no, oh, there they go. Austria's... Is Austria going to lose this? That will be interesting, if Austria actually loses this war against Burgundy. I don't need to see that happen. Alright, go explore that last thing that we can while we are sitting here waiting for colonies to grow, really. Which is kind of a thing when you're playing a colonial game. You end up kind of sitting around waiting for colonies to grow, and yeah, exploration is still quite fast, even with these missions. Especially if you can still do it manually, because, yeah, that's a, I, that's a lot of stuff explored very quickly. Peculiar at best. Will Aragon join if I decide to declare on Portugal? Oh no, they will. I was like, wait, they won't? No, that's my side, not that side. Trust, defensive war, yeah, shoot towards enemies. But war exhaustion as well as a thing. Hmm. I really just, I really don't want to mess about with it, Aragon because we need to, yeah, not be at war with Aragon. Is not a vassal, is still a neighbor, that sort of stuff. Basically, if we don't get them by 1530, then you go kill them. Oh, it is there. Oh, I have not actually had that event before, which is peculiar. And then expulsion of the Moors for Morocco, so some somewhere up there has got a free base tax. It being random, of course. Gotta love randomness in this game, because not that it isn't already full of RNG here and there. You guys are gonna head home. Are there any more missions to do? No, just circumnavigation the globe at Tech 9. So in that case, let's just go exploring manually. Head across, check that down here. Pretty much get Brazilian coast, and then come back to Arkham. While I sit here and ponder how to take out Portugal effectively. Because they still have the colonists, they don't have quest yet, so they're supposed to start with an explorer. I don't know if that explorer is still there, or if he's died or what. Really, I want Porto. That is a that is expensive. 32. And it's also going to cost, what, 150 decor? 200 minus the claim, 150 decor. Which is fine. I can handle that. Oof. Yeah, attrition is painful. But I can still do it manually, and it doesn't give me that crazy, annoying sound every time I do it. Yeah, apparently exploration missions are a hell of a lot faster. I really wish they weren't. But yeah, they're pretty damn fast at exploring. But you're limited to making sure they actually have the mission. Oh, there's Discovery of the New World. 50 Prestige! I was in the Bahamas? Hmm. Well, 50 Prestige. Hooray, I discovered the New World. I really didn't need that Prestige. Okay, you can do that and then come back. Is that England? Yeah, England is is sieging out Aragon. Not that I want Aragon to lose more Prestige, but if they do... Oh, God, I hate that. Lose a thousand in Cape Verde or fifty dip. Ugh, I'll lose the dip because I don't want to have to restart this colony. It'd require having to resent here. Oh, and an influenza. Sick like hell. Well, quarantine the board and let them die. All right, you guys, come home, prepare for a bit. 
and we need you up here. Is that Portugal's navy is five and eight? It's the exact same as well. I have a lot more transports rather than heavies. I'd build more heavies, but I really just want to save for the embassy. Oh, I discovered another one. Did I? No. Oh, that was down here. Never mind. Costa Verde. Green coast, I believe. I'm not entirely too sure. I actually need to. Or, yeah, sit in Argwin and heal for a while. Only when they're done will I bring them back, because I need to actually. I'll need to fetch the troops off of Argwin before I do. Ooh, that is going down very quickly. War exhaustion, besieged provinces, lower manpower. Oh, there goes the Master of the Mint, so. I'm gonna get. Oh, another Master of the Mint. Ooh. Do I take a Master of the Mint again? Or do I take the Missionary Strength? I'm not gonna be taking very much El Sunni. And this is the only province that's Sunni that's gonna be in the way, so. I'll take more inflation reduction so I don't get more inflation from La Mancha. Sounds like a good plan, I think. Oh, there we go. Quest for the new. The Quest for the New World. After the conquest. Who is this new? Looks like it. Spain was after the conquest of Granada, Spain was filled with veterans and warriors of the faith with nothing to do and many needs. Deeds and needs will be fulfilled as Cortez and Pizarro started out to conquer South and Central America. All these people became the hacienda owners and trader baroners of the New World, bringing wealth both into their own pockets and the vaults of the Spanish treasury. A new reconquista. We need conquistadors. Conquistador. Someone becomes available for duty. Gain 50 mil. We need explorers. Gain an explorer and 50 mil. Uh, I'll take the Conquistador. Blank has arrived. How nice to meet you, Blank. 225, not bad, actually. Not bad for a Conquistador. I'll be, uh, I'll end up sending him into these uh, areas sooner rather than later. Actually, I should probably do sooner. But that would require a second army. Eh, uh, you know what, I can do it. We'll take another two off of each of these, so it's eight and four. It's really not much more. I really don't want to be end up taking many more infantry off of these troops. So I don't start having uh, issues with insufficient support. Now that won't happen for a while, but still, I don't like having too many... Too many cav. Alright, come home. Is Aragon still in problems? How close are you to, to not going? Portugal loses Diplo rep, or Diplo skill, although, oh, you have the 6, damn it. The next guy is a 1-3, okay. Oh, there you got, the, oh, there's the Explorer. They got their Explorer. That's a pain. I'm going to have to try and kill them very quickly now. Can't have them exploring and colonizing too much under or behind my back, because I really don't want that happening. You head into yeah, in into Oran, take two troops out. Uh, yeah, you get on board. Send you into Granada. You'll be colonial too. I'm actually, gonna do it making more troops more than likely, even if I have to go over force them a little bit, which is fine. I'm actually close in the force them. Ah, yeah, I'm close. Okay, make another bunch of infantry. Meanwhile, you will take him. Our blank guy. Oh, I hate this event. Lose a stab or gain autonomy everywhere. I'm actually low on stab. Ugh, but... Ugh, don't waste fine. I'll lose stab. That is... Oh, that's a horrible event. You know what? I'll boost stab immediately. It's only 101. I only have a little bit of religious unity countering it, so I can get rid of it. Actually, um... Uh, Oh, yeah, loyal vassal. Well, you're being annexed now. You have an extra 10. Historical, right? Wait, what? I know it's 10% from being annexed, but why is it saying historical rivals? Peculiar. Oh, well, I'll get rid of them. Actually, oh, hang on. No, it's 3 and 1. Uh, I'll be. I'll dismiss those because they won't be coming from these four provinces, which is a, a pain. I really need them to only come from those four provinces. Alright, you guys come here. Two goes to Brazil. Ideally, not that. Can you come this way so you take a little less attrition? That'd be great, thanks. And then we'll have 24 troops hopefully whack into Portugal sooner rather than later. So I've got to take Alentejo. Hopefully, England succeeds in a siege and possibly a siege or two and then increase the, uh, the malice for not wanting to join the war. 
Not that they can't re-ally and end up being recalled immediately after, but it'd be nice not to have to be immediately at war with them. Oh, penal colony in Arguin, do us. Make that grow a little faster. Not that it's not that it's fast as it is. Okay, you guys will land. And they'll make you explore for things, because you are a conquistador, and that's what you are good at doing. You guys gotta get home quickly. Nope, you landed good. Go to Oran, pick up the people, bring them back to the mainland. So, there we go. Hunt for the Seven Cities. Armies under orders to hunt for the Seven Cities will automatically chart nearby unexplored provinces in search of the legendary Seven Cities of Gold. You do that. Go hunt for things. Go automatically explore places so that I don't have to do, that I don't have to manually send you everywhere. Especially if it, Actually, I don't know if doing this means you don't necessarily get attacked by natives. I'm not entirely too sure. We'll see if I get the pop-up saying, Oh, you're under attack by natives. We shall see very soon. No, no natives as of yes, even though it's a small amount of natives. The, uh, the usual South American natives, the usual South American migrating tribes have all come up closer. No, there it is. There are some native attacks. Do they sit and wait? No, they just go straight for it. Oh yeah, and the uh, Conquistador unit pack, <laughs> being in the New World. That's why he looks so dashingly different. If you can even call him dashing. And yeah, we're going to get you next month. There's Navarra integrated. Hopefully that doesn't hasn't pissed off France immediately. I... Yeah, don't need you lost, I also didn't need that. You're probably going to suddenly desire... No, just a little bit of border friction. Nothing that can't be handled. Come back. Where are you? Stop protecting Bordeaux. Oh, clicking that stops you and brings it up immediately. You used to have to double-click that. You only have to click it once. Progress. Alright, you guys home. Still... Wow, two can eat this come up already. Yeah, they're really all coming up for Brazil. I'll have to take them off. I'll have to take them out sooner. Jeez, where's the money gone? Oh yeah, two colonies, of course. Of course, that's where the money's gone, running two colonies. You just keep hunting and doing stuff and... Yeah, things. False as diamonds of Bahia. Explorer sent us gems he claims to have found in Bahia. White and glittering, he believes them to be diamond, but our learned scholars tell us that they are common quartz instead. Far from a source of wealth, they have become a source of ridicule. Bahia is down here. All that... Diamonds is not glim. Wait, what? Did I just read that, or is it really meant to say all that diamonds is not glimmer, as opposed to all that glimmers is not diamond? 